Hi, my loves. Really quickly, I was sitting here reading this word in Joel 2, chapter 25, verse 26. And um, it says this, So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. That is the part that I want you guys to focus on. You will not be put to shame for your hope in the Lord, for your faith in the Lord, for choosing to follow the Lord even when it looked foolish to other people. You will not be put to shame and God is about to deal wonderful and wondrously with you because of your faith in the past, because of your seeds, because of your tears, because of your prayers, because of your continuous fasting and continuous pursuit of Him. When other people said, you know, that you should have walked away from God or why you're still serving God when bad things keep happening to you or this happened or that happened. But baby, you are about to be restored. Everything that was taken from you during the season of prune and during the season of the wilderness, during the season of testing where God was allowing certain things to happen to us so that we could come out as, as gold. The Bible says that, you know, he tests us, but it's not for our for our harm it's for our good and so that we can come out as gold and so that we can truly be children of god because we need those fruits of the spirit where god is elevating us and where he has taken us so sometimes he does allow things to come up on us for character development the bible talks about how uh, patience needs to have its perfect work in us so you know that we can yield fruits of righteousness so you know these things are not to harm us but they are for our good when joseph was thrown into the pit at the age of 17 years old i'm sure that he thought that it was for you know it was for his bad that he would always be a slave this this that god had given him dreams and he did, probably didn't believe that they were going to come to pass anymore because it was 13 years until they came to pass you know he was a slave and working in potiphar's house for 10 years and then for the last two years he was in the prison so it got even worse for him but it only took one moment god doesn't need a year he doesn't need a month he doesn't need a week even a day all he needs is one moment to restore you and my sister my brother restoration is coming so i want you guys to meditate on this word restoration restore restore he is restoring to you the years that were eaten and that were taken away from you and you will not be put to shame. I pray that this word bless you all and I love you guys so much.